What is going on everybody? I am with Mark from Nomadic Customs. We're gonna show another one of his amazing vans. And people might be like, you know what? Why do I keep showing Mark? Well, there's a couple different reasons. One, I love the man. Number two, he is one of the very few van builders that are full custom. Not just custom, but he uses some of the finest and best woods that I've ever seen in any of his vans. He's a great guy. I do not work for him. I will never work for him. <laughs> really appreciate what he does for the van life community. He comes to a lot of these festivals. We're at Tiny Fest right now. So for all of those reasons, that is why I show this person as much as I do on this channel. Plus they do fireworks. Plus you do fireworks. It's the Mark and Jared show yet again. <laughs> Yeah, so you're at here at Tiny Fest. Yeah, you brought indoors. four of your vans, but you've got this gem. Yeah. That I think was probably one of my favorites when I was at your shop. This one was so much fun. A lot of love went into this. The clients that we built it for are just extraordinary people, and so it just made the whole entire process really fun. Walk me through it before we do that. What is the uh, year make model of the van, like yeah. I always talk about? Yeah, sure. So uh, it's the Ram 3500. Uh, 159 extended. It's got about a two inch lift on it. We put some uh, black rhino rims and the Falcon tires, which is a great combination for stability and corning and all that kind of stuff. We kind of made our custom roof mount for this. 800 watts of solar, a skylight, a max fan, and then still enough mounting for the awning. Which, and you said uh, this was the 159 extended? 159 extended, 3500. Okay. Yep. So probably not 800 watts on a on a non-extended. Right. A 159, you couldn't put, well, you couldn't put a fan, a skylight, and the 800 watts. Yeah, maybe it's... maybe sacrifice one of those. Yeah. What I actually love about the ProMasters that has been happening more and more, they are now coming out with a lot more components. Like, they didn't have yes. a lift kit yeah. before. Yeah, a lot of that was aftermarket, um, stuff that we added on. But actually, the 2023 ProMaster, they redid the entire front end, so yep. they have new headlights, all new stuff on the front end, uh, a better transmission, so a nine-speed transmission package, and then they redid the entire cabin area. Kind of walk me through it, and let's let's step on in, bud. Sure, yeah. Not much going on in the front, as we always talk about. There's just really the swivels. You you yeah. do them. You were sitting on your swivel. They yeah. your client decided not to do a double swivel. We actually have a double swivel in here. Oh, you do. Because this one actually comes up and it turns to 90 degrees. You can have this one kind of turning at 45, so you can still kind of have like a little office area or something like that. Not much to show aside for the swivels, but again, we have our triple uh, paneled insulated partition that we make. And then we also do these uh, bug screens um, in-house as well. They've got the bi-panel in them, so magnetic, so you can go in and out. And then we make all the window covers for the vans as well, uh, as well as custom upholstery and pillows, which there are plenty of pillows in here too. As you know, I don't ever like talking about price. Yep. I hate talking price with, with builders. I'll talk yep. price with DIYs. People are really getting on my case about that. So yep. you are a little more open when it comes to talking price. And I know you're going to give me a range, which is totally fine. People to understand what your range of pricing is. So most of our builds uh, range in price from $65,000 for the build all the way up to about $265,000 for the build. This one in particular, for the build, we were sitting somewhere around about 145. dollars For the build? Um, for the build. Yeah, that's then, not including van, everybody. And then you have the van. Well, show show me the rest on why this is well over 100,000. <laughs> sure. A lot of it has to do with the systems. We have the Van Life Tech system, radiant heat floor, um, blower heat and um, four gallons of, of ready-made hot water. You know, that's a pretty typical thing for us. The Cruise and Comfort 24 volt system for the uh, air conditioning, um, 600 amp hours at 24 volt in here. So there's a huge power system in yep. here. Uh, and that's where a lot of the money kind of gets sunk into is power components. The rest of it was kind of in the engineering and finishes. You can see we do a lot of these like river tables. So we did the river table both in the countertop as well as the uh, table. Also make these little induction cooktops. And so we're able to um, carry this entire line of river all the way down the entire countertop. 
We have the Cruise 115 refrigerator in here. It's one of the best refrigerators on the market. And it's great. Room. They put the compressor on the bottom rather than the top. So you have this nice big freezer space in there, which is really nice. Wow. We do a custom veneer finish on the front of it. So they went with a block of walnut um, wood finish in here. A friend of mine actually makes these kits. So we can actually sell the kit too if you have a big old silver refrigerator in your van that you want covered. Not, not yeah. silver. Not silver, <laughs> yeah. In here, <coughs> this is lived out of, so it's, excuse the mess, but we have our seven gallon uh, tank as, uh, as well as our charcoal filtration for the water. Seven gallon gray water tank is all set up on a ball valve. That's your seven gallon gray. Seven gallon gray. What's yes. your fresh? Uh, fresh water in here, we have 30 gallons um, and then four gallons of hot water. So uh, 34 gallons total. Of on demand, but yeah. it's it's an unlimited hot water technically yeah, through technically. Going, going through the Van Life Tech system. Yeah, plenty of room up in these upper cabinets um, to wow. stow away all of your accoutrements. <laughs> that's, a, that's a French word. This is kind of fun. We actually did a, they found these dishware and this is called Silwy. It's S-I-L-W-Y. Yeah. What's cool is it all has uh, magnets in the bottom and then we have a magnetic mat in here. So you can see this, it clicks in. Oh yeah. And then these don't move. So you get rid of all that road rattle. <laughs> you also have these that come down. Oh, those plastic or glass? They're actually glass. glass. And then what's fun about this one is that they come with these little removable pads. Oh, wow. And so you can put your wine glass down on the table there and it's not going to, it's not going to go anywhere. That's it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Oh so, my God. Yeah. Really pretty strong funny. little magnet. So you can put these pads kind of like on your lagoon table. We actually have a little desk that pops out here. This is kind of fun thing that we did. The, slides want to come back in yeah. so what we did is we flipped these little knobs over and then now your your desk is actually stabilized it won't, go back in, it won't go back in now yeah and then we can put our laptops and stuff for storage underneath there um pop this back out flip these little knobs over bring this back down for people that didn't also understand that those little knobs i mean everything in here is it's is all hand made. You know, you, yeah. you, not, you hand cut them, you yeah. hand sanded them. Yeah. You did everything hand. Yeah, I will say um, we do not have a CNC. Sometimes I wish I did. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say, um, I think you would still use it when, if you had it. When I watch some of my guys make these vents, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish we had a CNC. But, Isn't that crazy? Because a CNC fact, would do that in like an, an hour. Or and, minutes. Yeah. But we spent two days doing this. <laughs> Hence, we have custom. For me, the artisanship and craftsmanship is what really gives people the idea that this is built for them, you know? Yeah. And so what's cool about this and all of these kind of handcrafted things is it's almost like art pieces. And it's nice, you know, like even this little thing that we put back here, we we hand cut these, we placed them all, we burnt them all, we, we? stained them all. Oh. I, I was with you when you did this. <laughs> okay, well, I like to give credit to all of us. We're, I know you do, but... I, I run my business as <laughs> if it were a, a round table instead I, of... Fair enough. Yeah. I was actually in your shop and with you, yeah. not only when you cut all these, but when you were you were staining them and wood burning them and doing all that stuff. Yeah. And I was like, Mark, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I wanted to create an art piece for, for this client. And I'm like, well, you're crazy. Crazy fun. Yeah, it was crazy beautiful, <laughs> right. We did a little uh, routing. We routed in the the um, oh my. Insta kettle. So that just sits up That's there. Cute. and like You don't that. have to put it away. The sink has the little pull out nozzles. Sure. We've had a lot of people ask about that. I also um, want to point out too, you actually use a window that is uh, typically not used in most other van builds. Uh, yeah. A lot of people use the CR Lawrence or the AMAs. Yeah. You use a company that has like a six month lead time on them. They're actually better now. They're down to about four weeks. Oh, good. Yeah, so way better. Motion window, it's all glass, it's tempered. They're a great company. You High cannot, quality. you can't uh, replace existing windows. This no. is cut in only. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then down here, give a shout out to our, our Brava people. So we have our, our Brava oven 
Um, you can make a New York steak with your potatoes and your asparagus in about 20 minutes in this thing. It only uses about, well, it's 1800 watts, but you only use 1800 watts for 20 minutes and you have a three course meal. It's also an air fryer, dehydrator, you know, roast, it's everything. roast things. I mean, it, you've done it, stuff in your I, house and van and everything else. It's like a Jetson oven. It really is um, a Jetson oven. You have to kind of do some things with your inverter to make it really kind of work really well. It's a really, really cool oven to have. These guys really like their <laughs> coffee. So we made a little uh, coffee area for them. Um, have a couple of these nice vacuum packed bins with what coffee hell, and stuff in them. Another little desk back here. Um, kind of the same concept. Here's another one of our little... Yeah, just saw that. That was out there, yeah. Here we have a space for a nice big blender and then some of the mechanicals for the van life tech system, water heater, all that kind of stuff. Back here, we've got this little door that opens up and then that's access into your garage. They've got a couple electric bikes, which we'll see in a minute. We'll go back there and check it out. Because you have two desks, you have, you keep on saying we or they, yeah. so as in there's more than one in here. Yeah, it's that, a That couple. does not look big enough it's, for two people. Right. So what's kind of cool about this is, um, this bed is actually four feet wide, so a little over a single bed. But then you just pull this up here, pull this out, and then you have almost a California queen. Wow. So nice big space, be able to sleep this way or this way, however you desire. And then during the daytime, you have a day bed. You, uh, you flopped your uh, cushion down. Oh, thank you. What I also like about this van, if you take a couple steps back. Yeah, we're, this is a big van. This is a big van. This is a I big mean, van. <laughs> near. Far. <laughs> I'll keep it I right mean, in there. It's, it's pretty cool. Like, it's definitely. It's a big van. It, 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 having this expandable bed gives you this huge counter space. What, what is this? About eight feet? I, no, I'd say this is closer to nine or ten feet. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty I mean, big. It's, it's a huge counter space. You could you could actually fit somebody sleeping right here. Well, and that was that's what I was just gonna get to. We also kind of set this up so that if they brought their son with them or something on a trip, he'd be able to see as a grown adult, so that he'd be able to sleep here. I mean, we Swiss Army knife most of our vans, but this is another example of the Swiss Army knife. Oh, um, people are also gonna not be able to see, but this is not a white. No. This is like a, it's like a cream. It's almost like a cream color. We put this nice little uh, piece of solid walnut in here just to kind of break up some of the monotony of the ceiling and all that kind of stuff, bring some different colors. So mm -hmm. I would say a lot of the time in here really got put into like kind of the artisanship and design <laughs> of everything. Mark, you did another phenomenal job. I think Thank they you. have enough throw pillows to stack up the yeah, height of the van. She likes her pillows and Kale made all of those. Did he? Um, this back here is actually our air conditioning vent. Yeah, so that's another handmade, I'm going crazy here, but that's what you guys do. The custom ducting comes along the back, up the back wall, and then comes in here and spills out. Yeah, again, so, craziness. Yeah. A little bit of storage area under here. Jeez. Um, and then the water tank back <coughs> behind there. <clears throat> Uh, under here, we have one of the biggest unicorns ever, the wrap-on toilet. You cannot find them anywhere. Yeah. These guys got so lucky. Um, have you tried to find it after the fact? Oh man, it is impossible. They, they, I think they quit making them. Really? Yeah, but this is- They uh, realized the profit margin wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a crazy looking toilet, but it's by far my most favorite toilet. It's a dry flush. It's got about 50 cartridges in it. Um, and then it kind of does the same thing where it wraps up, but the cool part is then it heat seals it, cuts it, and drops a little baggie down below that you can just pick up so and throw away. So it's a, it's a Laveo on steroids. It's a Laveo on steroids. If anyone out there finds one of these, call me, I will buy it off of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a really, I want that in my van so bad. I'm glad you went over the toilet because a lot of people will ask, you know, where do they shower? Where do they poop? Where do they do all sure. that? So are we missing a shower or did the clients want it? Yeah, so the shower, we actually put it in a shower box. They actually use this and double it as storage. So the first thing is we're gonna get this lagoon table. There we go. Give you a little place to- Thank you, buddy. 
Um, so then this comes up. Like I said, they double this as storage right now. Oh, so that's a shower. But this is just a little shower box. A little. Transom shower. Oops, they got it kind of buried here a little bit, but transom shower just comes out of the wall and then comes up and hooks up into here. And so you have that. We have a shower curtain that comes out, hooks onto these eye hooks all the way over to here so that all the water kind of funnels back and you're not taking a shower feeling like the shower curtain's sticking to you. Here's our cruising comfort, here's our <coughs> van life tech, our inverter switch. We have different under cabinet lights that we can put on. It looks kind of plain, but it also is extremely deluxe all at the same time. But yeah, let's go to the outside and let's go to the back. Okay. Kind of check all that out. Also, it's just a shout out to you. Uh, you you recommended those lights to me that are in the back, those reading lights. Yeah. Uh, I use them in uh, my, my third and last van. They are not cheap. No, they're not. Uh, but they are really, really nice. They have a little USB port in there. They have USB, but I also liked it because it was the, the, back the backlighting. Light. Yeah. I want to say quadruple the normal reading, 12 volt reading light. Yeah, and then of course we have the skylight back here too. We didn't do that. We so. did not talk about that, but. You have the skylight, blackout shade. The reason you can not only fit the 800 watts, the max air, which is above my head, and the skylight, and an air conditioner is because you went with the Cruising Comfort. It's an undermount air conditioner. Yeah, absolutely. And Cruising Comfort does an amazing job. This one has their 24 volt system in it because yep. the battery system's all 24 volt, but they've got some great stuff. We're really excited. We just got in one of their max air conditioning units and that one's going into a van that uh, the lady lives in Las Vegas full time. So wow. really excited to see how that- Is it a 48 or 12? Together. It's a 48. Check out his so icebox. We'll, we'll have to do, well, I already got one of those in it. Okay, band, so. there you go. Yeah, there you go, Chris. Cruising comfort, Chris, yes. <laughs> the party lights on this. Um, there's also a little bit of the money that got sunk into this. Um, they've got about a $6,000 stereo system. Of course, why wouldn't you So, not? I mean, you can bump it and then you can get on here and start doing all sorts of stuff with your Different your lights. lighting. And then all of a sudden it becomes you know, party it's bus. Party lights, but yeah. I know these clients and they're not of an age where they'd be out, you know, raving. They're definitely rocking out to Dave Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dave Matthews was so my generation. They're yeah, older than my that, generation man. too. I'm not knocking it. I'm right. definitely not knocking it. Outside we got our water fill, uh, shore power over here. We put our, um, Aluminous boxes on the back with the extra little cage up here. So in here they actually have paddle boards, all of their hoses, wow. chairs. And then in here we open this up. And then we have a little garage light. Flip this open here our little locking system. And then this pulls out and we have these two electric bikes. Both of them are very active. Yoga mats in here. We have it set up to where you can carry a couple kettlebells. And then we also put up a customized um, pull-up bar, huh. which also can be utilized as you get this up here, you can actually hook a little pulley system up on here and get this 60 pound bike, push the tray in, drop the bike down, pull the tray out, hook it up, pull it down. So we have a lot of power in here and we've got a lot of water and air conditioning in here. Yeah. We had to really work with our tolerances. So we built those custom stands so that it was perfect every time. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> I'm always amazed by the work you put out. Thanks, Jared. The amount of uh, detail that goes into this. We have a lot of fun. I will say I wouldn't be anywhere without the people that I work with. They're all creative um, and we have a really kind, good time doing what we do. Thank you again. I'm going to see you again, hopefully in the near future. And we're going to get hopefully another one of your vans that are going to be completed. And you're going to wow me with something else that's new. And I've been begging you to slow down. I've been yeah. begging you to be like, dude, you got to scale back. Someday I will actually experience the van life that these actually provide. But yeah, hopefully for now, soon. I love working and doing the creativity side. 
I have a great community of people that I work with. So for now, this this tickles all the all the all the <laughs> scratches or itches or whatever. Thank you so much, buddy, and we'll talk to you soon, man. Yeah, and thank you, Jerry. Anytime, buddy. All right. Later.